Hi, welcome to the Heart-Based Center in Basel. I'm Andrea Gardner and I'm here today with Fiona Cox. We're just talking, we're reflecting on the past year about the journey here in Basel. It's been amazing. Fiona, oh my goodness, what a year. <laughs> How did this happen? This is, this is incredible. We came to Basel as part of a project to treat Ukrainian families who just arrived from Ukraine with nothing. We came here for a week in May and then we came back again for a whole month in June. And now we're here every single month. Um, and it's become this incredible journey that we've been on together. Tell me about your experience of that, my goodness. <laughs> wow, well, I don't know where to start really. I mean, it has been an incredible journey. You know, what, you know, from the moment when we said, oh, hands are on fire and we have to go and help yeah. these uh, women and children, and we came for six days. Yeah. And it was incredible. Was like, it? you know, these women who were so traumatized, you know, wrenched away from their land, their jobs, their families, yeah. came with their children. And they were, you know, they were very close, very contracted. I mean, having to cope yeah. with the, the trauma. Yeah. Um, but they had such strength, such resilience. Yeah. And then they came for these sessions with us, you know, that first week where we just did sessions every day for six days. Yeah. I mean, it was intense. It was, but it intense. was incredible. Yeah. yeah you absolutely. know, they just opened their hearts and, you know, we opened all of us together. Yeah. And it was just so beautiful to see the transformation. Yeah. And we had no idea what was going to happen. I mean, we came, I remember going for a cup of tea with you at home mm -hmm. and having this conversation about um, Ukrainian refugees and having this, this strong sense, my hands were actually starting to, to burn, <laughs> having this strong sense that we needed to be there. And you had exactly the same experience of that, that we needed to come, we needed to help. And then when we arrived... I think, well, it was a surprise to me when we arrived. Was it the same for you? Absolutely. I was I was thinking that we were going to be meeting these very, um, you know, inwardly focused, very traumatized people. That wasn't actually my experience. They're very strong. They're very vibrant. They don't want to be thought of as traumatized people because they have this inner strength. Is that... Is that Absolutely. reflected in yours? And I think yeah. that was one of the really good things is that what we were focusing on was intensive caring and restoring peace. Absolutely. So we yeah. weren't focusing on the trauma, although clearly it was there yeah. uh, in large measures, but we were really focusing on the peace yeah. and restoring that. Yeah. Um, I think that was the key, wasn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And you've worked a lot with, with the children as well. Tell me about that. How's that been? Yeah, I mean, just doing some EFT, tapping, and, and also little bits of healing too. But, you know, they, they were just so responsive. Yeah. You know, we ended up singing and having fun, <laughs> yeah. you know, and they were missing their dads, missing mm. their grandparents, yeah, sure. you know. But it, it was such a privilege to, to be on this intimate journey with them. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And sure. who knew it would end up with us being here all this time and now there's a, a center here yes <laughs> we're in it yeah <laughs> it's amazing amazing yeah what a privilege yeah yeah it really is and you know just seeing how people have traveled mm. you know just yeah. it, what comes to mind is this Ukrainian woman I've treated do you not know, treated I've I've worked with the whole family two sons grandmother and the mother whose husband is back in Ukraine and you know she's a lawyer and uh -huh. she was wrenched away from her job her husband mm -hmm. the children haven't got their father and she has, was just telling me this heartwarming story of how she feels yeah. after these regular sessions of just opening mm. The anxiety has really lessened to the point that she just feels this space of love. So when she talks to her husband daily, yeah. he really feels that. Yeah. And it's just helped the whole family and it, he helps others there. 
And so this rippling out of love is just, ah, oh, I mean. That's the true medicine, wonderful. love. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, love in action. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So I was just wondering if there are any standout stories for you that have happened over the past few months? Yeah, a couple come to mind, actually. Um, one was a Ukrainian woman who had come along for several treatments and she was so inspired by the love that she felt and the, the techniques that she wanted to learn them herself. So she came along for a course in September with other Ukrainians and she learned how to treat herself with some of the techniques that we use. And unfortunately, she fell down the stairs a couple of weeks later and she tore two tendons in her ankle. So she went along to the hospital and the doctors gave her an x-ray and she came out with one of those surgical boots and was told that she wouldn't be back on her feet for about six weeks. Um, difficult with young children. <laughs> um, so she decided to treat herself and after two weeks she was fully recovered and almost running around as she had before. When she went back to the hospital for a checkup, the doctors were pretty amazed and, uh, and wanted to know what she'd, she'd been doing. So she was telling, telling them about the treatments that we were offering here. That's amazing. Yeah. So another story that comes to mind was a Ukrainian woman who'd been coming to me and she shared that she had been with her husband in Ukraine and he'd died of COVID and she'd felt terribly guilty that it was him and not her. And she was carrying this, this terrible guilt with her and it was manifesting in various ways in her body and um, she was pretty sick when she started to come. And she's been coming now for, for several sessions and she's become much more vibrant and you can see um, she's wearing colors, beautiful colors and she, she just shines now when she comes in and she's let go of so much of that grief and that guilt and that anger actually at, at how poorly life has treated her, uh, which is what she came in with. Now it's, now it's much more, she's much more accepting of what's happened and she's settling here with her family and you can see that there's hope again. That, that was really touching. Yeah, that's beautiful. I know who you mean. She yeah. look, she's dressing in all these beautiful colors yeah. and, and really has this vibrancy, yeah. which is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So we started in May, we came here in May and we were treating oh. exclusively Ukrainian people. And then we came back again in June because by June, the Ukrainians had been going back to their host families and they'd been talking about these amazing sessions that they'd been having at the center. And the host families were wondering, well, what about us? You know, how can, how can we get in, into these sessions? So lots of Swiss people then started to inquire and come along for sessions and they were benefiting from that experience of being held and being loved and, um, and nurtured too. Tell me about your experience of that, what was it like uh, treating Swiss people after the Ukrainians? Was there a difference? I mean, yeah, there was a difference, but there was also a similarity. Yeah. In that they hadn't experienced, say, the trauma of war, but they'd experienced the stress and the last two years um, have been very stressful and isolating. Mm -hmm. And they came along and just... Um, you know, really open to this space of love and stillness inside mm, mm -hmm. and just reconnecting with the truth of who they are. Yeah, 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 absolutely. We, we, you know, the mind and all the worry and anxiety can really obscure this beautiful stillness mm. that we have inside. Yeah. And you know, that's something that I really found as, was a common theme yeah. It's like coming home to yourself. Really beautiful. Yeah, for sure. I was finding that people were coming with long-term issues. So burnout, depression, uh, feeling, as you say, isolated and not connected in any way. Uh, lots of anxiety, sleeplessness, those kinds of issues that have probably been around for some time. And then they were coming for sessions with us feeling that, that connection space that, that we hold 
and then recognizing kind of what was missing for them, mm. I think. And lots of resolution of these, these long-term issues. Was that the same for you? Yeah. Absolutely. You know, people saying, I slept really well yeah. after the session. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I feel much better in myself. Yeah. Yeah. You know, something's just fallen away. Something's shifted. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes even directly after the session. We've mm. actually had people falling asleep on the couch <laughs> here after the session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. For me too. Also, that that sense of uh, something something settling within, and I think that's that's because of the the space that we're able to to hold with them. Yeah, yeah. It's been really beautiful. Yeah, and mm -hmm. incredible similarities in a way mm -hmm. with the Ukrainians and the Swiss. It's just this similarity of just heart opening. And mm. love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're booking every month now. It seems that a lot of people feel that this is their maintenance program. You know, this is something that's yeah. going to get them through <laughs> through the more difficult times. Yeah, so, I want more of this. Yeah. So I'll book in in a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. it's great. It it's, is. Yeah, yeah, it's really beautiful to be part of this journey, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah.